And good evening one and all and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday night spice streams. Tonight we are wrapping up Resident Evil 7. Uh, we are finishing the nightmare that is the Baker House and we'll see where we go from there. But thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. We've had an incredible influx of new followers over the past... Um, uh, 24 hours? Uh, past week or so? <laughs> but it's wonderful to see you guys here. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful evening. And I'm glad that you decided to spend your Friday evening with me, your humble host. But how's it going, guys? Glad you could make it. Let us see if I can keep Ethan alive. Yes, uh... They're watching us from the helicopter. More than likely. Ooh, it's like a stimulants. We need those. But yes, uh, we came in here, we saved. But how's it going, guys? Oh, we've got so many good new faces again. How's it going, Gunman Grim? Glad you can make it. Jackie, how's it going, sweetie? Good to see you. Doge Master, I believe you're new here, in which case take a seat and enjoy yourself. Oh, thank you guys. I was very pleased with how my makeup came out tonight. I was just like, yeah, like this is a look. This is a look that I can go greet my neighbors in. <laughs> and hey, Dr. Creepin, I saw that you followed me very recently. Thank you so, so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely Lost Tales and you're welcome back at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Okay, let me just do a quick uh, check, see if there's anything I'm missing. Uh, it looks like I'm pretty much armed to the teeth, uh, for the most part. Um, hmm. I want to take that thing of strong chem fluid with me, just in case I come across um, uh, some herb. So I, I might need it. And yeah, I'll take those psychostimulants as I'm on my way out. But I don't have enough coins. Oh, wait. Oh, Jackie, I'm so, so sorry. I really hope that you don't have any huge effects uh, from the virus, that you're able to quarantine yourself. Just take care of yourself, okay? Oh, I, I like Ethan's reload speed now. It's good. Okay. Um, one thing, I am aware that we don't have much further to go in the main game, um, but don't worry guys, I have a plan for that. So we'll just see how long it takes for us to get to the end of uh, the main story, and then we might take a quick break, and then we'll see where we go from there. But don't you worry your adorable little heads off. It's all under control. Oh, I've got so much chem fluid. Just all of the chem fluid. Does that stack? Fuck. That's fine. Run, 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 run. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Glad you can make it tonight. Fuck, 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 fuck. Go away. Go away! Come on. Go away, go away, go away. That's more chem fluid. Which I don't need. But I did see some crates there. Shotgun shells, always appreciated. And yes, I am using my handgun for that because I'm a lazy fuck. God damn, there's so much strong chem fluid. Fuck! Okay. That's okay. Um, 
Just checking if I've got any ammo that can stack. No. Guys, I have too much ammo. That's okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, Jackie, I really hope that you get a speedy and complete recovery, that the symptoms aren't too severe, and that it passes as soon as possible. And, oh, good idea, Hayden. It's good time, actually, to do the stretch. Oh. Before we get stuck into the last leg of this game. And yeah, like, same here, Tell, and just like, whenever Ethan's just like, you just see his hand outstretched a little bit. It's just, Sir, keep your hand at the level of your eye. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you tell I'm a theater nerd? Fuck. That was Ethan's shadow. Fuck! Fuck you, Lucas. Fuck you, Lucas. My guy will not apologize for that. If there is an opportunity to reference Fan of the Opera, I'm gonna take it. Like, this is what you sign up for. <laughs> Oh god, but this is actually a really cool setting, these salt mines. Well, it's not- it's definitely not like the prettiest area. God damn it. God. I didn't see it. I'm an idiot. That's on me. And that's on you. Just stop. Stop writhing. Stop writhing. There we go. Uh, but... Okay, anything I can stack or I can drop. You know what? I've got so much shit, I'm gonna actually drop. Uh, those lockpicks. I know. I know, guys. Um, but I just have so much stuff and I want to make more chem fluid. My health isn't... it's not too bad. And I'm gonna make some super juice. Here we go. Cause yeah, my, hook, my health took a little bit of a hit with that, but it's not as bad as it could have been. Do I go up or... okay, there we go. Yes, Talon, as a mod, you literally sign off for this. <laughs> and I do very much appreciate your efforts in keeping things um, lovely and mostly under control in chat. Everyone is always very well behaved. Unfortunately, uh, I cannot say the same for me. <laughs> Fuck. around here. Oh, that's satisfying. Giddy Reclusiac, how's it going? Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Um, we're on the last stretch of uh, Resident Evil Biohazard. And uh, yeah, we're just seeing how far we go. But take a seat, enjoy yourself. Um, Okay, game mechanics brain switching on, light means uh, development in an area, so I'm just going to quickly check down here in case there's anything useful. Like those. Oh, 
Oh, Scarlet. I mean, I could make that as an option for me to just, like, be quiet for, like, 5,000 channel points. But my voice is part of my appeal, apparently. Come on. No, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, just... Fucking die already! Oh no, Dr. Creepin, I'm so sorry! You have to play this game sometime if you haven't played it already. It's so good. Anything useful down here? No. There we go. Before you go upstairs, you always check quickly on the ground level. Oh, honestly, like, I could never play this game in VR. Like, I, I, even though knowing everything that's going to happen, I think the experience would be too visceral for me. And as someone who gets motion sickness from uh, being in VR chat and playing it on PC. I saw it just as I was about to step into it. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm sorry, Ethan. That's on me. And that's why I'm using the handgun when around crates now. Because of fucking Lucas. Oh, here we are. Friday, January 16th, 2015, 12.42am. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really know how to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Oh, this is Lucas talking. I should be doing a different voice then. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? That's kind of fucked up. Friday, November 4th, 2015, 2.10 a.m. That bitch and me is still out, uh, still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's a favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She's actu she actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Friday, September 1st, 2016, 1.10 a.m. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the streets to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around. But it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Eva's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Fucking grandma. E. Okay. Time to make more healing juice. I'm gonna need it. Quick check for wires, because this is Lucas has been through here, so I'm paranoid. Hey, skate you later. How's it going? Welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite. Take a seat and enjoy yourself. Infection report. That does not look good. Okay, here we go.
10 minutes after dose death. E necrotoxin E, e series dosage test. Oh, that's little Evelyn. Five minutes after dose vomiting. 12 minutes af after dose cell calcification. And hey, you, and how's it going? Glad you could make it. I'm doing really well, Skagey Later. I had a good week at work, and I'm glad. I'm glad to be at the weekend, though. How are you? Oh, skate you later. This game is amazing. I love it to pieces. Okay. E necrotoxin destroys cell of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Use only use only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must first be stim, uh, stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of the E series cell into a necrotoxin container. Oh, I think we can do that. There we go. Let's get some bioweapon killing juice. Good, good, good. Okay, and that's safely put away for later. More research reports of a very confidential nature. And more very confidential reports. Lucas, you sneaky fuck. Honestly, same, Mike. Like, this game is absolutely amazing, and I wish I could experience it for the first time as well. Okay. Um, we have more flame rounds, so let me just check. Now, we have the grenade launcher. I'm wondering if I should... We don't have as many uh, of the machine gun stuff anymore so I'm wondering and then again the machine gun is our fastest firing weapon so I wonder if I should get rid of the shotgun shells but the shotgun does so much fucking damage though uh, this is the problem um, I could always bring the grenade launcher with me because I've got the inventory slots for it and then when I run out of machine gun ammo I just swap the two around that's an idea Very, very true. At least you can do it vicariously through streamers experiencing it for the first time. Mm. Mm. And hey, Network Noah! Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Glad you could make it this evening. Um, I might take... I'm gonna take the grenade launcher with me and just carry it with me. Once I'm out of ammo for the machine gun, I'll just swap the two around. And then I can keep grabbing um, flame rounds on the way. Oh, the Medloid man. That's actually a very good point. Um, it's pretty fucked up of Lucas to claim nobody should want to be cured when he himself was cured of the worst aspects of being a bioweapon. Yeah, because he didn't um, physically like completely devolve like his uh, ma and pa did. Selfish fucking prick. Well, that seems ominous as fuck. Yep, not getting through there. Checking every nook and cranny for anything of use. That is one thing, is um with the grenade launcher, I cannot hold any more stuff. So that's okay. I will make space from all the ammo I'm gonna burn through. <laughs> Mr. Gunny, how's it going? Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Glad you can make it this evening. Oh look, it's my favorite terrain. I 
hate this. Muddy, un muddy water with a creepy child singing. Just oh, oh, I hate this. I'm gonna be weird and I'm gonna check if there's anything around here. I uh, this is my favorite terrain. Favorite terrain, guys. No, I hate, I hate this. Fuck you, Evelyn. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Again. I, I... I... I'm not good at video games. I just like playing them. Oh, fuck. Ethan! Don't glitch through the terrain on me. Don't you glitch through the fucking terrain on me. Don't... Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Okay, guys, we can... <laughs> I don't fucking believe this! Okay, um, I might just have to, um, reload, I think. Uh, give me a second, I'm just gonna reload from the last, uh, save point, uh, from when I saved. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, give me a second. <laughs> oh my god. This game is, like, five years old and I still found a fucking bug. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Oh no, are you kidding me? Okay, that was the autosave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this, guys. Give me a second. Hey. Are you fucking kidding me? Give me a second. If something's fucked up with my save file, guys. Okay, no. <gasps> okay. <laughs> the sheer fucking panic that entered my soul at that point. Oh god, that's uh, scarier than any fucking game. <laughs> for a streamer, that's one of the worst fears. Um, but thank you for the hydrate check. Mm. Hayden, much appreciated. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna have multiple save files. Like a boss. I know it's only two minutes, but I was just so scared that for one reason or another it had saved over my save file or some shit like that. I don't know. Um, okay. I need all this healing juice. I need all this fucking ammo. Yep. Because I'm thinking like we've passed by other things that can be useful. Yes, Jackie, get some rest and you take care of yourself, okay? And thank you for the hydrate check, Noah. Thank you, thank you. I already checked around here, but I have no space. Ooh. I can get one of those, though. Oh, yes. That, that was Evelyn's uh, true curse. She fucked up my save file. Still my favorite terrain.
Come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I know you're out there. That's more like it. Okay. Oh, Noah. Um, I don't have extreme claustrophobia, <laughs> but I'm not a fan of uh, caves. I haven't seen The Descent uh, just because I'm legitimately scared of um, uh, confined spaces like that. God damn it! I'm sorry guys. I'll I'll get good. I'll try to get good. Oh thank fuck. fuck. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, keep, just keep heading up. Mm, not that way. Okay. Go away, go away, go away. I do love the shotgun. I love the shotguns very, very much. Okay. Okay. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Hey look guys, I do know how to block. I remember sometimes. I love the shotgun, I love the shotgun, I love the shotgun. Come on, Ethan, we got this. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly... Come on. There we go. Oh no! Okay, I'll take a very quick hydrate check. Mm. Thank you very much, Rampant Prime. Okay. Go away, go away.
Fuck. Okay, maybe I can bring them down here. Maybe not, maybe not. No, I'm stuck. Fuck, I'm. S God damn it! Get the fuck out of here! Okay. Hey, can I get up? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! God damn it! No! I thought I was being clever. I wasn't. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, 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 okay. Ethan. Where are you? There's one more, I think. Okay, I think I got both of them. I think I got both of them. Oh, look at my ammo stores. They're severely depleted. Still got uh, some handgun ammo and some shotgun shells. <sighs> okay. Well, that was that was good. That was real good. Okay, I'm just going to gather. Last things I can find, like magical healing juice. I'm gonna take some of that now, just so we'll prep for if anything comes up. I think that's everything down here. I mean, there's stuff back there that I didn't get, but I've got everything good for now and now I can safely climb up without being interrupted <sighs> when it suddenly goes all quiet on you it makes me even more nervous Come on, Ethan. Hey. Um, I don't think I've got maybe any more crates where I can put stuff back. But, um... I don't have- I don't think we can go back to any more of the crates to put stuff away anymore. Um, but I have more space in my inventory now, so let us swap back that again. Come 
anything. If there's one thing I've learned from Critical Role, always be suspicious of chairs and doors. I'm watching you. I'm fucking watching you. Ha! Huh. <laughs> okay. It's a chair with wheels, it's even more dangerous. Something, give me a sec. I'm sure of it. Hi. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Mia. I hope she's doing okay. Yep. It was dear old grandmama all along. <laughs> Resident Nemo 8, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Take a seat, enjoy yourself. I'm sure the chat will make you feel more than welcome. Hi, Evelyn. What are you up to, you scamp? You scamp with a massive body count? This is your fault. Is it? Is Why it am though? I seeing this? Is it though, Evelyn? Is it though? Sorry. Even I'm getting tired of this shit. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. Hi, Mia. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, but you shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Ah, but you see, Evelyn, my dear, I have amazing powers of regeneration. Like, I've got my whole fuck- my hand fucking working considering it was chopped off, what, less than eight hours ago or something like that? Because this- the thing that kind of blows my mind about this is that this entire game takes place over the course of, like, one evening. Because, like, you get there when it's sunset. And then, um, like, this is when you're getting into the dawn. But yeah, poor fucking Ethan has had the worst night of his life. Oh. Ethan, help me! Mia, you're gonna be okay? Where are you? Oh, that's right, downstairs. <laughs> Fuck off, Evelyn. I don't like you. Make me. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Mia, stop. Mia! <laughs> Mia, go away. You were always watching me. Why? Okay, then. Seemingly didn't affect my health, but, um... I always have to check this shit. Oh, and thank you for the stretch check. Oh, box puppy. Oh, good to get that out of the way here and now. Because the houses are shaken. Uh, 
Go away, Mia. We're trying to fix this. Stay away. No, you don't. This is best you got. Come on, Evelyn. No. Take no. your medicine. No. You. Why does everyone hate me? Okay. Um. Stop. Stop melting. But. Bye, Evelyn. Mm. Oh, gross. Oh, oh, gross. No, 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 no. No 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 Stop Evelyn Evelyn let's discuss some boundaries Evelyn uh Evelyn, let's talk about some fucking boundaries! <sighs> hey, the cavalry's arrived! Come on. <laughs> You're just a little boy. God dang it. Come on, Ethan. Come on. Oh, Ethan's looking fucked up. Gun. Ooh. Shiny gun. Shiny gun. Please. Come on. Yes, Ethan gets a one liner. Come on. There we go. Fuck you, Evelyn. Fuck you, Evelyn. Hey guys, just sweeping in to save the day, huh?
red field. Hi, I'm glad Chris. Found you. The fuck took you guys so long? <laughs> I love Ethan so much. And yes, Scarlet, I'll check then just a second. Ethan? Mia! Hi! Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Oh, you've been through so much. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Yeah. And then everything was fine. Everything was fine. I love this game. I love this game so much. But let's just enjoy the outro cinematic because it is mwah, magnificent. So creepy and it's so cool. Like, just to talk a bit about this game and continue to praise it, like, I know this game has, has nothing but amazing accolades, but I just want to say that it was a, it was a gamble to essentially refresh the main, um, numerical order Resident Evil games, because 6, um, from what I hear, really was not good, so the fact that they brought it back down to basics with it being first person, even like calling it Biohazard, and bringing back like what the core of Resident Evil is, like, yes you've got those elements of like, bioweapons and umbrella and all that, but nothing is distinctly ma named until like, unless you're like familiar and you're able to pick up on what's going on. Which, it was such a breath of fresh air when this game first came out, and to say that I'm hyped to play Village is an understatement. The fact that they even had a new engine designed um, purely for this game, essentially to then move forward with the series. If this hadn't worked out, I'm not sure where we'd be with Resident Evil in terms of like the main story games, um, not including like spin-offs and stuff. Um, and yes, tell it absolutely. Now this is how you reimagine a franchise. It is a brand new uh, player character, Ethan. Him being an everyman as well is just, again, bringing in that breath of fresh air, having someone who is not, you know, military expertise or, oh, my brother trained me and talked about the police all the time, or like have some level of understanding of weapons, making you feel helpless again. That's a tricky thing in a franchise like this. And, yeah, so, again, this is the best way they could have uh, reimagined a franchise. Breathe new life into it, as it were. Um, and Capcom did an absolutely stellar fucking job on this game. Um, and so, again, like, I think it was Mike who stated uh, earlier tonight in the chat, I wish I could play this game for the first time again and experience it, like, completely fresh. Um... Because it, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. And I know everyone, like, 
chat we're all in agreement that it's an amazing game. Um, but they had those like familiar touchstones, but also making it like a bit f like foreign as well. But just like bringing like new things into a little bit of touch of the old. Again, it's like a big mansion that you're going through. So very much like keeping those classic staples of Resident Evil going. But making it like in the Louisiana South, just ooh. When the, the extra atmosphere and the griminess of it as well. Because in so many settings when it comes to like survival horror, there's usually that sense of like... For lack of a better word, fill. Like you feel grimy walking through some areas, like if there's spiders and bugs around. This game, and it might just be the amazing graphics and like the visceralness of once you get like those graphic settings up really high. But as I was saying before in earlier parts of the stream, um, not tonight's stream, but earlier stream, uh, previous streams in general, like if you you can almost smell this, the areas that you're in, like that disgusting, like rotten earth smell when you're going up against Marguerite, or that you can almost like smell that rottingness that like would culminate in like flies and maggots like being everywhere you can smell like the slaughterhouse area where you face off against Jack the first time uh, where it's essentially like a hell in a cell match yeah and I could just keep singing this game's praises until the cows come home and I'll still have breath to keep going but I had so much fun streaming this, and I'm very excited for when I get to stream start on Village next week. But we're not quite up to that just yet. In case you haven't uh, noticed, we've only been at this for an hour, and we've still got a little bit of time left uh, for the rest of tonight's stream. So, um, let's just continue chatting a little bit about the amazingness that is this game. Um, I love that. I think that scene. Um, just to touch on this quickly, I think that scene with Jack. Uh, when Ethan is under um, Evelyn's like um, imprisonment in the uh, the fuck what's that what's it called like the molded like um, prison where he's like uh, strung up uh, when you have that moment with Jack that is such an important moment and I'm so glad that they included it because it humanizes them so much like you don't see Marguerite in the scene in that scene because I think by that point she was just way too far gone mentally because I think she was the first one that Evelyn infected um but the fact that you got that little moment with Jack because yeah the Bakers were victims in all of this like Lucas Lucas is another story he was a prick and uh, was up to some shady shit already but Jack and Marguerite and especially Zoe did not deserve it Regem the goop cocoon. I like that. We'll call it the goop cocoon. <laughs> yeah, and Jen, I bet the sound design is worth uh, having fun making all those squishes and sprays. Like, absolutely. Just that. Like, all that. When you're going through mud and muck, or you have to, like, shimmy your way. Like,. This, this bit that always makes my skin crawl is when you're with Marguerite in the old house and you have to get through that narrow passage and you have to get past all the centipedes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um. Uh, but touching back to what I was saying before um, about Ethan. Um. They could have brought back, or even made, like, a, this a, a prequel in some ways, and maybe had, like, you know, oh, this is the origins of this character, this is how, like, they first f became involved with, essentially, the franchise as a whole. But no, they brought in a completely new perspective. And also, and as I've said many times in the past, I love the way that Ethan is written. I love that his reactions are genuine, and a lot of the times they're, like, a appalled and taken back at what is actually happening around him. Um... Uh, and he even gets like a couple of one-liners once he's feeling more like a badass towards the end and he's got some like really good guns going. Oh. Also the voice acting in this game is fan-fucking-tastic. fan fucking tastic. Like everyone just is the characters to a T. Oh, 
I love this game, in case you couldn't already tell. Mm -mm. The one critique that I would say is while the sound design is amazing, I'm listening to the music that's uh, here in the credits, and while there's like some really good pieces, like the kind of theme of this game being the uh, Go Tell Aunt Brody, um, I think maybe if they had some more like stand out like musical pieces but then at the same time that would make this too theatrical so I appreciate what they did as they leaned away from something like this like what's playing at the moment with like the guitar riffs and everything like that like you get that towards the end when you're facing off against Evelyn and it goes m much more into the action direction because like you're all experienced you've got like um, all your weapons on you you know you feel like a badass at that point um, but I appreciate uh, at the start when you literally like just have a pocket knife and the music is much more subdued and it's more about building tension and more like a added sprinkling on top of added ambience. What I like is that the overall stories are very grand compared to other games. Very good point, Deathbringer. I, I agree with you there. It does feel much more grounded, much more down to earth, like smaller scope in that it's just like one family and these terrible things have happened and you're stuck here and you gotta get out of this shit. Tell an, um, it's a survival horror, it's not horrifying unless it's happening to some poor schmuck. I think the biggest thing when it comes to survival horror is if, if you, as the player, feel and then, and then in turn the character that you're essentially playing through it's helplessness you have to feel that sense of helplessness and desperation that is key when it comes to at least in my opinion like the, the stepping into when it comes to survival horror like Ethan is an everyman and you know he's not trained he's not specialized he's not a specialist in any way so he is completely helpless at first and then you s carefully take those steps into gaining experience and getting stronger and getting a better player. And yes, because if you think about, say, something like even Resident Evil 2, even Leon, um, initially he's helpless. He's a, yeah, he's a trained policeman. Um, but the situation is completely completely outside anything he was anticipating or expecting what went down in Raccoon City. So even though you might be playing as a character with specialized skills, it's helplessness. You have to feel like that loss of control, like you are the person that is then surrounded by chaos and then over time you learn to navigate that chaos and you begin to move through it over time. And uh, you know I do like a bit of chaos. <laughs> oh Mike, I really hope that you're able to make it to some of my Resident Evil 8 streams that I'm going to be starting next week because I am so excited. Like you guys have no idea how excited I am. Oh. Oh Vegas, you're going to be okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry all this shit happened to you. Okay, it did pretty good for the run. Uh, items, secrets of defense will be added into item box in the main game. Cool, cool, cool. So. As we still have quite a while yet. Um, until uh, I typically wrap up streams. Because usually my streams are around like two and a half hours, maybe closer to three. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step away for a second. I'm going to take a quick break for about five minutes or so to get things sorted. And you guys can go grab a drink and we'll come back in about five minutes or so. Um, because I am going to play, I'm going to pick the DLC that I have not played yet. We're going to keep the Resident Evil theme going, but I am going to play a DLC that I have not played yet. 
And it also then wraps up things nicely with this particular game and this game's story. So, we're going to keep going for a bit. I'm just going to um, uh, make sure that everything is all good. And you'll see what DLC I'm playing in just a moment. So, we'll be back in five minutes, guys. I'll see you soon.
And welcome back, guys. How's it do? How are you guys doing? I see you're all behaving yourselves. And yes, the DLC we will be playing is End of Zoe. I got myself a very nice Peroni beer. Mm. This feels like a DLC that's good to drink beer too. <laughs> so, I have never played this DLC before, but I knew that we'd be running a little bit short tonight and I still wanted to keep things going for Resident Evil. So I'm actually just going to quickly update the name of the stream because we're not in the Baker House anymore. Well, we are still technically in the Baker House, but we're doing something a little different. Yeah, that seems appropriate. <laughs> so, essentially, this game follows, uh, like, canonically. The can canonical ending is um, between the two choices of Mia and Zoe. You pick Mia. This is what happens to Zoe. Because the last you see of her is not including that little bit of a glimpse uh, when Ethan has that conversation with um, Jack. But Zoe's just left on her own at the Vega house, so essentially this DLC goes into what happens after the game is over. So, I've never played this. I apologize in advance. <laughs> but it looks great. It looks great, I'm very excited. And, yep, normal. Wish me luck, guys. Oh. I had to use one. Yep. Hand. There's only one left. <gasps> it's fine. It was foolish thinking I could escape. I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is my home. Apparently, I belong. Oh, Zoe. So we... Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help! I'm sorry, Zoe. Oh, oh this is so pretty. And terrifying, but pretty. No! Evie, please! Zoe! No! Help is on the way! Help is on the way, Zoe! We got a casualty here. Hey, I think she what was. What the hell are you boys up to? That's her, alright. Zoe Baker. She's still breathing. Call in the HQ. What'd you say, Zoe? Sir, do you live here? What the hell's wrong with her? We're Zoe! here to help. So everything. What in God's name have you done, sir? <coughs> Whoa. Stop! Stop! Okay. Oh my goodness, Zoe. Oh. What the hell do they do to you? I know she's in probably a huge amount of pain, but sorry, that is so cool. Like, and it's in the artist world, like that crystalline form. Just oh, Zoe. No. Listen to me. We're here to help. <laughs> no. I don't believe you, boy. Tell me. What kind of help comes in a helicopter gunship? Captain Badass over here. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't get it. You think I don't know who you people are with all these monsters running around here tell me where did they come from it's not what you think you don't understand well, i don't understand you see that girl back there look that there my brother's little girl my niece you understand and around here family is a righteous cause 
And you ain't gonna kill my family. Now see, that ain't something I can abide. For fuck's sake. She's infected. She's dying. And we're both gonna fucking die if we don't get the fuck out of here right now. Mm. <sighs> she ain't dead yet, boy. So I figure you better do something about it. Boy, I feed you two little friends outside. Hey, okay. There's a cure. You're lying to me. <sighs> I'm, I'm just lying. enjoying this. I'm not lying. This is great. I'm loving this. We're on this. our way to get her treatment. And you fucked that up when you jumped us. They're probably still waiting for us right now. Uh, Where? Oh, shit. They took it to an old shack. Not too far from here. It's there. I swear. Zoe. We're gonna fix this, Zoe. You're my family. Oh, Zoe, you're gonna be okay. Okay. Anything I can grab around here? Like, he took that thing clean off. Like, okay. I will try and do some semblance of a voice. That was no gator I saw today. Was out checking the lines when I heard I had one so I could pull it up. Instead it was some huge sludge covered god knows what with huge teeth and claws. Tried to get at me so I punched the fucker's teeth in before it could. Never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Goddamn government doing secret experiments on people and animals, no doubt about it. Explains those helicopters flying about recently. Fuck yeah. Oh look, my favorite thing, trunk. Right punch, left punch. Okay, I do have chem fluid. That is good. And I have a save thing. That is also good. I might just move my beer out of the way slightly because I have a feeling I'm gonna be moving my mouse around a lot. And I do not want to knock my beer all over my fucking keyboard. Okay, so we are essentially just beating the shit out of monsters. Okay, I just came from there. Oh, my actual Cajun accent needs a little bit of work. That was kind of more just the... I, I was trying to lead, do a little bit of a Cajun accent. I'm not sure if it was executed well. Oh. Do we just... Eat... Okay. So we can... It, grubs is essentially our equivalent of herb for this, so good to know. Oh. So, again guys, I have not played this DLC before, so I'm a, both a combination of this is going to be fucking awesome and I am nervous. But this guy just grabs grubs and bugs and- Oh, right, you moldy motherfucker. I can take you fucking with my bare hands. Oh, fuck yes, I'm going to enjoy this. And you stay down! I thought for a second there was another one coming up behind me. Oh god, I'm going to be going through a lot of those, aren't I?
Can I get through there? Oh, we just... I like this guy. Boxer effigy. I'll collect effigies to boost your attack power. Oh, hell yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Florida Man Simulator. <laughs> mm. Oh, but I do I do not like that. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Now, son, you just hold tight there. What the? Oh no 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 no! Jesus Christ! Can I get through there? No. Honestly, going straight from Ethan's, uh, Ethan in the main game to this is, it's wild. It's wild, but I'm loving it. Oh, but that does not bode well. What? What's moving in the dark? No. No, no, no. That... That's a fucking gate. That, that's two fucking gators. Oh, hell no. Zoe! <laughs> Zoe? You're gonna be okay. Alright, now. Now just, just let it work. You're gonna be okay. God damn it! Why ain't it working? It wasn't full, was it? It won't be enough. She needs a full dose to heal completely. There's more at our base. Just untie me, and I'll take you there. Please! What base? What? Fuck was that? Ah! What the fuck was that? Shit. Gotta get Zoe out of here. Okay, Zoe, we're we're gonna move, sweetie. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> what? No! What? Uh, we're going up against Swamp Thing, apparently. Oh, I don't like being in water. I don't like being in water. Fuck yeah, it is! Okay, we're gonna be okay, Zoe. Okay, uh, Butter Toast, thank you so much for joining us. We finished the main game of Resident Evil Biohazard, and now we're doing the Save Zoe DLC. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Oh god, I- I can't drive a boat. Bye, Swamp Thing. You Cthulhu-looking motherfucker. <laughs> oh, but I don't like this. I don't like this. Soldier Boy said the men's were at some kind of base. Oh, but this is gorgeous. The full moon. And where in all hell did this wall come from? That looks like some base looking shit. Is that... Is that the base? Or are we supposed to move to the shack? Mm. Looks like somebody left the lights on. That's good enough for me.
Oh, Zoe, you're gonna be okay? <sighs> Don't you worry, Zoe. Just a little further. Okay, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. I hope you're gonna be okay. Tinkerbell, thank you so much uh, for the host. I really appreciate it. You're amazing. Thank you. Oh, I don't like this. I know you're a fucking badass, but I... I, I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, you'll be safe here. Okay, can I put you here? Now just you wait here. <sighs> I'll be back with something to make you better. There's a gator right fucking outside. Okay. Mate. Damn it, you're awesome. This is fucking great. I love this. Okay. Now let me just middle gear my way around. <laughs> or I could just settle this with good old fashioned fisticuffs. Damn it! God oh, damn it! Okay. Boo. Okay, at least it's saved here. Yes, uh, Tinkerbell, um, this is the Save Zoe DLC, and yes, she has a strange kind of crystallization mutation. Mmm. Nice. Oh, thanks so much for joining us tonight, uh, tonight, Deathbringer. Best of luck with work. I hope everything goes well. Okay, but at least I got him out of the way. I think there's also one round the back I need to be sneaky for. Don't be suspicious. Yeah, don't be suspicious. Fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off! Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Okay, it might take me a few tries to get to get good at this. Give me a second.
go away. Turn around. Don't be suspicious. Yeah, don't be suspicious. 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 Yeah. other way around it. Hmm. Is it going to come after me? Turn around. Damn it! Mm. No. I'm gonna give this another try. God, I gotta start all the way back again. I'm sorry about this, guys. For some reason, I'm just not getting the knack of this. At least for some of the trickier ones. Yeah, I'm just not getting the hang of the ground enemies. Die, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Turn around. Okay, I will eventually get the hang of it, but it might just take me a hot second. It's just because that oh. other one is facing directly towards me and I can't see a clear route to get around it. Unless I make a chase after me. I have a theory. Nope. It's chasing after me. Oh, fuck yeah! Can I retrieve it? No, I cannot. Then that's okay. Hey, I figured out one of the game mechanics, guys! <laughs> Thank you for being so patient with me. Oh, and look. I can save. Yay! <laughs> oh, thank you so much for putting up with my bullshit. For the most part. Okay. Uh, this looks like a place that has healing juice. Ooh. Like that. Fucking umbrella call. Orders are as follows. Effective immediately. The mutant my seat, apologies if I mispronounced that, the mutant my seat is on the loose in the swamps, and it will keep mutating as it encounters new organisms. We can't allow the stock of medicine compounds to be exposed. If they suffer a mutation, they'll be useless. Transfer the whole anti-infective th uh, synthesizing station over to the paddle boat. The paddle boat? Damn it. You boys ain't making this simple. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm I'm paranoid. No wait, I say back there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Gonna be sneaky. What the shit? You best stay back now. 
What the shit? Oh, fuck it! I am punching Swamp Thing in the face. Like, Swamp Thing is deeply misunderstood, but this is fucking great. Holy shit! I just knocked him the fuck out! This is great, guys! Maybe not! What? Oh, come on! Just stay down! Okay, he's walking away. I got some shrubs. Anything good in here? Okay. Uh, Joe's survival manual uh, notes on how uh, you took on how to deal with swamp monsters. I'm going to put that away for safekeeping. Actually, can I look at that? Uh, no, I cannot. Okay. In that case, I'm going to put that there because I need to save room to for things that will not kill me. Wait. Because that next area seems rather um, formidable. Okay, I'm going to go and save. Like, the second I see that fucking gator, I'm just like, no. Fuck no. You save. Hey, Franklin, how's it going? Welcome back. Okay, that's locked from the other side. That makes sense. Hmm. And come, Steindrath, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm not going to punch the gator in the face. I'm going to spear it in the face. It's probably going to take more than one hit, though. Or... Oh, I don't like this. I want to I wanna move around where the body was. Move. 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 Fucking move. I hate this. I hate this so much, you guys. As an Australian, this is filling me with a lot of visceral fucking fear right now. <laughs> guys, I'm Australian. You don't realize we are taught to never, ever swim in muddy water. Because of shit like this! Go away. I was gonna sneak up on your friend. Go away. Okay. Like, these are gators. These are alligators. What we have over in Australia is crocodiles, which are fucking terrifying. They're a similar size, if not bigger. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. 
Hell yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, the Constant Drift. Thank you so, so much for the 30. Five month resub, almost three years now, almost three full years of your amazing continued support. Thank you so, so much. So glad you're able to make it tonight. Make it tonight. And thank you so much for th almost three years of just being absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Oh, actually, good point, uh, Gunman Grim. This is a good point to quickly take a hydrate check. Mm. And a stretch check while we're at it. Ooh. And yeah. Um, like, Floridians and people from the south. Um, you know, alligators are pretty fucking nasty. But crocodiles. Australian crocodiles. And I'm not comparing one to the other, but I am comparing them a little bit. Crocodiles. Australian crocodiles are fucking terrifying. And they're bigger and they're meaner. <gasps> And they will easily, easily tear you limb from fucking limb. And they actively hunt humans. So as a kid, growing up in Australia, you learn to be afraid of spiders and to never swim in muddy water. Saved. We kind of just went around, like... Oh, that's right, the paddle boat. We have to go back. We were just led in one big dang loop, weren't we? Can you get up there? Oh, come on, mate. Yeah, that was all one big loop. We need to go back, don't we? I need to go back to Zoe. Um, am I going the wrong direction? Give me a second, guys. Um, okay, I unlocked here. Ah, there we go. Sorry. Yeah, and polar bears are on a whole nother level. And orcas. Like, orcas are some of the most beautiful creatures on, on this world, but they just are ruthless hunters. They're one of the most dangerous creatures out there. Ooh, that looks promising. A massive pile of scrap metal. I wonder what I can use that for. Well, the various scrap metal can't be used as is. Oh, I imagine that's going to come in. Sorry, uh, going to come in handy very soon, or well, soon-ish, maybe. And yeah, no, of course I can't go up there. Hold my hand, oh baby, it's a long way down to the bottom of the river. Hold my hand, oh baby, it's a long way down. A long way down. The wolves will chase you in the pale moonlight. Red. Red sun rises like an early warning. The Lord's about to come for your firstborn son. Oh, this song is uh, Bottom of the River by Delta Ray. I thought it was very appropriate, given what horrors I'm currently experiencing. Good tree branches. Okay. Can I?
Okay, good. We can craft now with scrap metal and tree branches to make more spears. Hold my hand, oh baby, it's a long way down to the bottom of the river. Hold my hand, oh baby, it's a long way down, long way down. What the fuck are you? Oh, you're a, you're a twitchy one. Wow. Oh. Oh, I will say the design of those things are cool, though. Of course, they're fucking terrifying, but they're cool. Anything useful? Ooh. Yummy. Oh good. Oh good, this is fine. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. We'll keep going. That works too. Oh no, don't get me wrong. This game is absolutely fucking terrifying, but I love it. Maybe because like, I'm kind of desensitized to a lot of horror visually, but... Um... I do love a good horror game. I'm just not a fan of jump scares in any way. Come at me, bro. Stay down. Let's check if there's anything good around here. Okay, thought that was a tree branch for a second. Where's it going? Okay, I can't go down that way. Okay, I need those spears for getting gators though. Can I? Okay, I'm gonna wait until these turn around. Didn't intend to do that, but now I'm just punching it in the dick. I'm s fuck, 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 fuck. It's probably not doing too great right now. Oh, no, no, no. Bad. 
Because, yeah, just the way that was shot, that was framed, I was just like, you know what, in moments of crisis, sometimes you just gotta punch, like, a terrifying mold monster straight in the dick. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, please. Because I want to save those for gators. Because I'm probably going to encounter some of those in the future. Ooh. More tree branches. something down there. I'm just going to check the other way first. Come on. Come on out. Okay, I'm gonna put some distance between us. Oh! No, 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 no. Joe, you're a badass, but even that's a bit too much for me. I don't like that. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Okay, they're still coming, but at least I have a loop around. I just want to check. Like that. That's the kind of shit I need. Fuck, that's a dead end. Damn it. Okay, I got the other one. Go down. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I think I got the other one. But I need to check through there. If there's anything I missed. Can I get up there? Shit. Okay. There we go. Joe, don't, don't! Stop that! Stop that! Oh! This is it. Finally. Okay. Go away, go away, go away, I don't like you. Go away! No, 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 no! I didn't even get a chance to save! No! Fuck! I didn't save! I fucked up! Come 
Come on. Damn it! Fuck, 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 fuck. The money shot. You want it? You got it. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh my god, is there is is there a second face of this fucking asshole? Just gonna wait until you've tired yourself out. Oh my god. Yes. Come on. That's how you get it done. Woo! Ooh. I'm coming for you, Zoe. Fuck. <laughs> Give me a second, guys, to have a, a, a victory sip of beer, because I think I earned it. Because mm. I was panicking the whole fucking time, like, oh shit, I didn't save. I didn't save. Um, I assumed that auto saved. I think I saw the little swirly thingamagig in the top corner, so let's just, uh, get a, a couple of hydrate checks in and a stretch check. Mm. Mm. Ooh. I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty proud of that, considering, like, you guys have seen my previous streams of this game. I don't know how to block. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. I think I did good. Okay. Zoe, you gotta be okay, sweetie. Oh. And yeah, honestly, I wasn't intending for the spears to hit where they did, but they just worked out so perfectly. Yeah. Save. Wait. 
That's okay. But Zoe, you're gonna be okay, sweetie. We got you. Zoe, I'm not your medicine. You're gonna be fine. No! What? Didn't we just tear that guy's fucking head off? What? What's going on, guys? Zoe! Where are you, girl? Where'd they go? God! Leave my family alone, asshole! God damn it! Oh, did I not tear his head off enough? That was the problem. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it. Oh god. Everything's fine. I think I've been doing pretty good so far. The thing is I blew through Damn. like all of my healing items though. This whole place is gone to hell. It really has. Oh, we're we going back to the Vega house? Oh, this place got fucked up. Oh, the molded are everywhere. Oh, no. He's gotta be up ahead. Let me just check what I've got. Okay, I do have Zoe's medicine. I need healing stuff though. Gross. Checking rocks and trees and like for potential healing items like this. Fun thing, uh, those grubs are actually based off an Australian grub uh, called the Witchy Grub. Um, if you see what they look like, they really are that big, and they're apparently very nutritious and full of protein. You, I will probably never ever eat one though, because they are disgusting looking. But yeah, they pretty much look exactly like that. Oh, I'm staying close to the shore because I think there's gators about. Good. A place I can save. Anything else around here? Oh no. Okay, that's good. Oh, I hope there's no gators under the house. I really hope there's no gators under here. <gasps> I'm sorry! I'm sorry, but that was just so fucking perfectly timed! You adorable little bastard! Oh my god! I'm gonna grab a tree branch. Fuck, this is giving me so much anxiety. No, I hate this. I actually really fucking hate this because this is just no. No, 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 no. And I need to get past there. Okay, good. Okay, I've got a spear. <sighs> There we go. <laughs> Seriously, guys, someone clipped that moment of just... Because <laughs> the timing was so perfect. Oh, good, there's another one. Is there anything useful in there? See, I need to get past there. 
I'm going to make another spear quickly. Oh, that hissing. I do not like that hissing. Good, good, good. Go away. Anything useful? Of course there isn't. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you guys for clipping that. So I'm s you only get a few moments of perfectly timed jokes like that in your life. Fuck, he's following me. Go away. Oh, good chem fluid. Fuck. There's gators fucking everywhere! Oh no! I hate this. Guys, I'm actually, like... I haven't been this stressed out in like a, so fucking long in like my, all the time I've played games because no. No, 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 no. I hate this. I actually really hate this. Okay. Um. Joe's a badass. I'm gonna make a fucking break for it. Just stride. Stride, you beautiful, beautiful man. Oh god. It's right there. It's right fucking there. God damn it! Yep. Yep. Okay. I I need some spears. Uh, okay. Fuck, I'm stuck over here. No, I hate this. Okay, do I have anything? Okay, I've got I've got some metal. I need a tree branch though. Oh no 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 I need tree branch. <clears throat> Man behind the screen <laughs> Thank you so so much for the five gifted subs to my amazing archive of lovely lost tales. Thank you so much for your amazing support. I've really appreciate it. You've always gone above and beyond to support my um, my channel, so seriously, thank you so so much. I'm very tense at the moment, but this is very much appreciated. Thank you. Oh, oh my god, seriously, dude, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick stretch and uh, hydrate check. Mm. Oh, with the power of the chat and my archive of lovely lost tales behind me. There's no gator I cannot fight. I just want it to go away because... Okay, that one's going back and forth a bit. So if I go... They seem to mostly rotate in the one spot, but I need to... I need to get supplies to make spears. Come on. Come on, Joe. I already have scrap metal, I need tree branches. Go away. Go away. Go away, scaly motherfucker. So yeah, I don't have any tree branches. Shit. Okay, and that one's swimming around there. The other one's right over there. Fuck. There's two. There's literally two right there. Right where I need to go. Okay, I need at least one spear. Preferably two. He won't go away. Okay, maybe I need to sneak past it. Like, guerrilla warfare style. Oh. Go away. 
I see you. I see you. I need to get there. I because I think there might be something behind over there. Something I need. Okay. Does it come okay, I, I might die again for this, but does he come after me? Because I need to just Okay, similar to the molder, they seem to be on some kind of pathway. Okay. 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 So I needed to get past there. And I could go through that way. That's why there were the uh, two gators there. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. This is fine. This is fine. I'm just going against every instinct I have. Okay, good. More chem fluid. Oh, this is cool though. Can I save? Yay, I can save! Queero, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely Lost Tales and you are welcome back at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and I hope you have a good time. Uh, no, I need all that shit. Ooh, a steak bomb. That looks fun. A homemade bomb of Joe's own design. Press that to place it on the ground and R to detonate. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that looks dangerous. Anything else in there? No. Quickly save again. Was there a Resident Evil game that took place in a zoo? That's a good question. That's not coming to mind because something like a sequence that amazing I think would be uh, very, very memorable. Okay. Okay, so we need to get to... It looks like we need to get to that church. Damn it! Fuck, 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 fuck! I need to get to water. I need to get to a ladder. 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 <laughs> oh, uh, Scarlet. I'm not gonna say a single word, but prepare for the feels. All I will say is prepare for feels. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, fuck off. Damn it. Oh, Scarlet, are you okay? If you need to take a break from the game at all, that's totally fine. Just take care of yourself, okay, sweetie? Because that scene hit me hard as well. Okay. Okay. 
Like, Death Stranding is a gorgeous game in innumerable ways, but... Oh, you just love the characters so much that it hurts. Try and almost kick him off the... Kick him off the thing. And yes, lots of hugs for Scarlet, because it's a wonderful game, but it hits hard, and yeah. But if you need to take a break at all, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just really glad you're enjoying it, even if it does bully your emotions. Okay, anything else in here? Okay, that goes down to the water, which I will not be doing. Oh, but over there it's got good shit! Okay, let me just try and scout out. How do I get up there? I think I have to, yes, I have to go to the other side. Can't see any gators. I'm gonna risk it. Joe's a badass, he'll be fine. Up, 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 up. Up I go. Okay, good. More healing stuff. Okay, good. Now I have four spears. Go away. I don't like you. Go away, go away. Oh. <laughs> Higgs. Oh, Higgs. Fuck! Did it jump in the water? It's still lurking around here. Hey! There we go. I just wish that I could retrieve the spears after I used them, but then again, limited resources. Oh my god, I can't believe he didn't see that. Twitchy bastard. Yep, Scarlet. That's a long journey. Um, so it's good to probably take a break before you do that. See, you would think that stealth punch would be, like, it, that just wouldn't work, but in this game, it does. Because it's Resident fucking Evil, and we're going to make it work. Fuck! I fucked that up!
damn it. That's on me. I fucked up. Damn it, Scarlet, I don't need you calling me out in front of the chat this early. Oh god damn it, do I have to do it all the way from back here? Fuck! Okay, fine. Fine. Oh, don't worry, I make that mistake all the time when it- Oh, fuck off! I know how to play video games. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Sorry, Joe. No. This is fine. Sorry guys, it's taking me a, a, a couple more tries than I expected, but um, I'm trying. Oh my god, did it not kill them enough? Okay, I might quickly nip back and save again. Just while I'm in close proximity to this. Come on. Just because then I can be like, okay, at least the first part's cleared. And yeah, I'm trying not to fall. <laughs> Careful. The way my heart literally dropped at that, that, just... No. No, I don't need this. Okay. I'm gonna grab that, because I remember. I will say one thing I do greatly appreciate is the fact that with the gators, so long as you hit them and they hit the mark, then they're gone. It's not like, oh, you it stuns them or something like that, because these are like infected gators. So it makes sense that it takes more than that to kill them. Um, Yay, now I got more spears. I remember there was a beastie over there that I did not like. Can I get to him? Uh, kind of. Yes!
Did I knock him off the dock? until you come back the other way. Uh, yes, come on, come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on, come on. Okay further than I did before, which is good. I think we're almost there. Ooh. Okay, my health's not doing too bad, but... Eat this tasty crawfish to make sure I'm all powered up. Okay, good. Now my punches are even stronger. Oh yeah. Good, good, good. Damn it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, no. It's all good, Kitty. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And you have an awesome weekend, okay? Are you fucking kidding me? Huh? <laughs> I think it's the sound that the gators make also makes me very nervous. Okay. I've still got one spear left. And I can make more. Okay, okay, okay. Anything here? No. Nope. Oh, is this the shack of saving? Yeah, I thought so. Oh god. 
just gonna save in another fold, uh, folder as well. Because this is giving me a s sneaky feeling that we're heading towards the end, maybe. Just a hunch. Mr. Creepy Pasta, thank you so, so much for your 13 month resub. Thank you so much for your amazing continued support, my friend. Like, seriously, dude, it really does mean a lot. So, thank you so very much. Also, I don't know where you got that emote, whether it's part of your channel or you got it from somewhere else, but that is. It's freak, freaky. And look! Isn't it fitting that as soon as Mr. Creepypasta shows up, um, we, we show up in a fucking Louisiana graveyard? Spooky, scary skeletons <sighs> send shivers down your spine. I'm really glad that I'm in, uh, playing this DLC. Because, like, this was like that extra Louisiana flair that I was really hoping for. Oh, I don't like this. This also feels like it's a very good area to have a boss fight, so I'm gonna quickly... Oh, fuck off. Oh, God. No, 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 no. God damn it! And I have no more spears. Oh god damn it, I need to eliminate the enemies first. Fuck, 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 fuck! Damn it, I need more spears. And I don't have any more spears, I just have my fists. Oh. Wait, there's one. Okay, give me a second. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Spears, I just have to punch the shit out of him. Come on. Thank you. 
on. Oh, did I get him? Samuel has redeemed to pick my voice and it's a uh, very good timing because I think I'm in need of a hero right now, so fear not, for I am here. <laughs> Everything is fine. There is no problem that my fists cannot solve. Come on now, Joe, buck up, you've got this. Well, curses, better luck next time. Mm. Well, we'll just have to give us our all, won't we? Well, this is certainly a difficult situation that we found ourselves in. I say so, if you could please stop doing that, it would be much appreciated. I must say, I am certainly glad that young Midoriya is not here. This is no situation in which any children should be present. Oh, why, thank you so much for asking, man behind the screen. Of course we can get a PLUS ULTRA! Since you are so very nicely. My four spears and still wasn't enough to take him down.
My, this poor villain just doesn't seem to want to quit, does he? I must say, I must be a little out of practice for... Oh, they seem to take quite a... F number of hits. But, no worries, I'll eventually bring him down. Oh my, I seem to be out of healing items, but that should be more than fine. I know we'll still make it through this. It might take one more shot, but we will get there. I must say, I see what's currently trending in chat, but I do not think that word is appropriate. Especially when I'm in the public sphere in front of my loving audience. And with that, we come to the end of that particular Pick My Voice. But thank you so very much, Samuel. I hope you all enjoyed it. This might take a couple of tries. Like, this is definitely... a lot more formidable than I initially anticipated. And I'm really wishing... That I, uh, had some more spears. Out of the way, fat fuck! God damn it. need to take care of the other two first but come on one more come on come on come on come on Honestly, I think I'm just supposed to keep hitting him until he eventually dies, because I haven't seen any, like, in-game prompts to do anything else. Okay, because he seems to be falling apart. Then he kind of composes himself and then... Come on.
The sounds are getting to me as well. Oh. No, 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 no. like I have to wait until stop that I really do think I just have to wait until like it stops He looks like he's falling apart, so I just need to give him... You just keep doing that. Just let out of your system, buddy. Thanks so much, Scarlet. I do appreciate that, because I was just like, wait, am I supposed to, like, just distract it for a long time while something else happens? Like, okay, I'm just gonna keep... Beating the shit out of him. That's the second time uh, it's gone down on one knee, so I think one more time. That should be it, hopefully. Oh. Yes, finally! And I need to heal. Ah, okay. Thank you for the stretch check. Oh, Samuel. Oh. oh, thank you, thank you. And yes, that does indeed earn another sip of beer. Mm. Mm. And with that, I'm all out. That's okay. Still got my water next to me. I've got to get through. Can I save in here? <gasps> Zoe! It's a goddamn sacrilege. Oh, fuck. What is this shit? That looks familiar, though. That looks like Lucas's work. Zoe. Oh my god. No. I can't do this shit right now. What? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? How? 
Jack, how? How in the fuck are you still? God damn it, Jack! Don't you remember your brother? Fuck you, Jack. Fuck you. Don't do it! Don't you touch her, Jack! Let me the fuck out of here! Call your family! How the fuck can you do this to me? Get me the fuck out of here, Jack! Stop this. Fucking damn it. Jack. I'm gonna punch you so hard in the dick. I'm actually really glad now that we speared him through the dick, because what the hell, Jack? Oh, hell, Jackie boy. What's happened to you? Like, I know we had that moment with uh, Jack and Ethan's mind when they had that conversation. Like, this isn't Jack Baker as he once was. This is like the absolute insanity. That is now like Evelyn taking over Jack. There you are, you son of a bitch. Let's do this. We're gonna fight Jack Baker one more fucking time. Okay, because I wanted to go back through that door, but, um, yeah, I got cornered. I got jumped. Okay. Ooh, I'm looking forward to getting that. That looks very nice. Very nice indeed. You got to know when to hold on. No way to fall down. Yeah. Bitch. Let's do this. Yep, I need something else in order to do that. So let's just skedaddle our way out of here. Because I think I know what I need in order to get those. That would be these. What the hell is this? One of their fancy toys? <laughs> yes. Ready for use. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Yes. Where's that last one? Hmm. 
charging. Charge complete. This just might be what I need to put old Jack down for good. Okay, I'm gonna go back and save first. Oh my god, yes, like the Pacific Rim theme starts playing. Just do 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 This music is already amazingly epic. You know what, Scarlet? I don't know. It's the game that's doing it for me on my behalf. I just have like maybe an innate targeting system. It's playing into my subconscious. I don't know. But either way, one punch. <sighs> oh, look. Oh, so we fake a fourth grade. Oh, now I'm sad. Now I'm even more sad. And look, there was a place to save right here. I didn't need to run back. Never mind. Oh, is this back on the old house? Oh, I remember this. Yep, this is the old house. All those delicious centipedes. if there's anything else that's useful. I think it's going to explode. Yep. Oh, but that is satisfying. That is very satisfying now. You can just punch those fuckers right out. <laughs> oh no. Jack, I'm gonna have words. Inventory move to item box. Product, num uh, product name AMG78. Developed to assist with the transport of heavy equipment and supplies. When worn, the wearer's nerve impulses are detected and synced with an acuter, allowing max output to exceed 50 horsepower. State of the art shock absorbers reduce all recoil experienced by the wearer to zero. Technical specifications max power output uh, 78 AP. Max torque. Fairly lightweight as well.
We're finished analyzing the tissue samples believed uh, to be from Jack Baker. The cells exhibit an extraordinary resilience to physical and chemical damage. The E-series uh, mutamycete uh, secretes a telomerase-like enzyme through the cell wall, causing abnormal activation of the ERK pathway to achieve forced cell division, quickly regenerating damaged tissue. However, the repeated cell division quickly leads to breakdown in the intercellular, st intercellular structure, leading to the slowing slurry-like effect we've observed in the collected tissue samples. Our working hypothesis puts this down to the cells re reaching their hay flick limit. Note that the samples were from, uh, from the other member family members, the mi wife Marguerite, the son Lucas, and the daughter Zoe, do not exhibit the same extreme regenerative, regenerative, regenerative properties. Sorry, it's getting late here. The symptoms may differ from subject to subject. Further study is required. Hell yeah. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I need all those things. And I need to save. Can't see anything else around here. So I think we're all good. Oh, almost missed that. Save again because I'm paranoid. Okay. Come on, Just Jack. You wait, Jack. Zoe's coming with me. Oh God, it feels weird being back in the Baker house. Zoe. And like seeing it like this. Oh, hi, Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Damn it. God hey, damn it, Jack. You ain't cheating now, are you? Charge. Charge. Damn it. Okay, this is gonna take... This is gonna take a couple of tries, guys. I am not used to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. Just you wait, Jack. Zoe's coming with me. Zoe! 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 Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Charging. 
Charge complete. Charge. Charge complete. Charge. Charge complete. Come on. Hey! You ain't cheating now, are you? Damn it! Come on. Forget that one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. sake okay at least i have a much more powerful weapon than um i did with my previous uh boss fight so bear with me guys just you wait jack so, <laughs> with me Zoe! i just need to get into the pattern of it Zoe! Zoe! wake up wake up <laughs> Yeah, she gets knocked to uh, knocked aside. Um, no, I'm not going to lower the difficulty level. We come this far. I'm going to finish this one way or another. 
Just you wait, Jack. Zoe's coming with me. Zoe! 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 Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> And yeah, if you look over there, she's over there. Damn it. Hey, you ain't cheating now, are you? Come on, come on. God damn it, come on, don't come on. You wait, Jack. Zoe's coming with me. I appreciate everyone's patience. Zoe. It might take me a hot second to do this. Zoe! Zoe! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Charging. Uh, uh, uh. 
Give me a second. I will get this. I will eventually get this, so I do very much appreciate all you guys' patience. Just you wait, Jack. Zoe's coming with me. Zoe! Thank you for the stretch check. Tell, tell him I just cracked Zoe. my neck, so I'm good. Zoe, wake up, wake up! It's also just late, I'm really tired. <laughs> You're just a rabbit dog now. I'm gonna put down your misery. Bring it on! Just kill me, Jack, and I can try again.
charging. Charge complete. Sorry if this isn't exactly uh, wait, the most entertaining thing so to watch. Chat, I'm really trying my best, but I'm just so tired. Zoe! 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 Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Is it has to recharge and then you attack so if he attacks you it resets the recharge for the hit which is what's driving me absolutely fucking insane yeah even if you have a fully charged weapon and he interrupts you before you land the blow it restarts like Charging. 
And yes, everyone grab Grab a round of drinks and chat because this might take a long fucking while. Hey! You ain't cheating out, are you? I want to finish this on normal difficulty so badly, but I'm just so fucking frustrated. No, you have to do this all with your fists. You have no spears. It's all just a, a fist fight. Oh, good night, Talon. You take care, okay? Yeah, it's getting late over here, guys. I'm I'm so tired, so I'm gonna lower the difficulty just to get to the end of the DLC. Yep, that's fine. Thank you for not shaming me, guys. Just you wait, Jack. Zoe's coming with me. Fuck, this is just kicking my Zoe. ass. Thanks, guys. Zoe! Zoe! Wake up! Wake up! 
Also, all the motion is making me really sick, actually, so... Yeah, I need to wrap things up. Sooner rather than later. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it so bad if the recharge didn't reset whenever he hit you. Like, if you're recharging and then he hits you, it completely resets. And that's what's driving me absolutely fucking insane. Thank you, Hayden, for saying that, because yeah, blocking should like auto charge it or something like that. Like, I get that they wanted to make this a challenge, but at the same time, like, no. No, this is just fucking infuriating, especially as hand-to-hand -hand combat wasn't like a main staple of the main game. I know they want to do things different for a DLC, but fucking hell. Okay, come on. Is this it? Come on, Jack. This is farewell from the family, brother. Ooh. Okay, as frustrated as I am, that was satisfying. Franklin with 210 bits. First try. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like, seriously, thank you. I was getting so frustrated at the end of it. Just thank you. Thank you. 
So, hang in there. You gotta be all right now. Zoe. Zoe! Zoe, you're gonna be okay. We Run. got you. Wake up, Zoe! Joe, what happened to her? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't you worry about me. It's all over now. Go, 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 go! Don't move! Get your hands up! Get down! Ray Jim, thank you so much for the gifted sub. You're amazing. Weapons down! Hi, Chris. Weapons down! <laughs> How's it going, Chris? It's all right. You must be Zoe Baker. Who the hell's asking? Chris Redfield. Been looking all over for you. We're here to help. Oh. Oh, Zoe. You're gonna be just fine. I was trapped with those monsters for three years. All of them trying to kill me. I can't believe it's finally over. You gotta know. Deep down somewhere, they were still your family. And they loved you. Especially your daddy. Even in his final days. <laughs> we found her. She's a tough kid. Yeah, of course. Hang on. Someone wants to speak to you. Zoe! Zoe, are you there? It's you! I don't believe it. You actually made it. Ethan? We both did. Oh, Ethan! You didn't forget about me. Oh! I told you I'd send help. And I always keep my promises. Oh, Ethan! Thank you, Ethan. Yay! Oh! And that's how the story ends. Yep, that was worth it. Through the tears of frustration, it was worth it. Oh, I, I don't think I'm up to extreme challenges. Nope. 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 Okay, you do get to use a shotgun though. <laughs> Okay, so with that, we will come to the end of tonight's stream. Thank you so very much for joining me tonight, guys. I had so much fun with this. Uh, we wrapped up Resident Evil 7. We even did the extra DLC, End of Zoe, just to get that final icing on the cake in wrapping up Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. So thank you all so very much for joining me this evening, guys. And be sure to check out down below for my sc current schedule. Um, this Sunday, we will be continuing Doki Doki Literature Club. And following Friday, we will be starting Resident Evil Village. To say I am hype to play Village is an understatement. You have no idea what I have in store for you guys and I'm sure you're gonna like it so thank you all so very much for joining me this evening if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far please consider hitting that follow button we would love to have you back at the blue rose respite you are welcome anytime and be sure to check out my other socials uh they're currently in the chat somewhere in there as well as on my about page to uh be sure to follow me on twitter for important updates and occasional shenanigans and my youtube channel for asmr tales and the extra twitch vod's and yeah thank you all so very much for joining me this evening and remember take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always stay wicked and wonderful Good night, guys.